Inside the box and under the hood, we're unwrapping more details about the next iPhones on today's Apple Core. So let's get started. By now, we have a pretty clear picture of what the next iPhones will look like based on all the leaks. But this video from 9to5Mac takes those rumors a step further. Tech journalist Shai Mizrahi 3D printed mock-ups of what the expected iPhones would look like side by side. We have the 6.5 inch iPhone 10 Plus, the 6.1 inch LCD model, which he calls the iPhone 9, and a regular iPhone 10 to represent that second gen iPhone 10, which is expected to have the same dimensions. And mind you, this guy has been right before. The phones are inside actual sketch covers, meaning even the case makers are betting that these mock-ups are true. The other interesting thing to note about this video is the size of that 10 Plus when compared to a 7 Plus. If true to life, it would mean Apple has actually managed to add a full inch of screen without increasing the overall footprint of the phone just by eliminating that home button and the bezels. So, if you can fit a current plus in your hand, then you should be good to go with this next gen. Okay, so now that we've seen the exterior, what about what's under the hood? If Apple keeps with tradition, we can expect a faster A12 Mega Bionic, Supersonic, or whatever other fancy name Apple decides to come up with. But how much faster? Up to 10% if you believe these Geekbench results, for a mysterious iPhone 11,2. Originally spotted by French site Consumac, the benchmark results show a 10% speed increase for single core performance and a 5% increase in multi core performance when compared to the existing 10, and an increase in RAM from 3 to 4 gigs. Even if these results were to be true, we still don't know which one of the three phones they belong to. After all, the cheaper iPhone model could have an entirely different chipset. There's also been a lot of buzz about Apple finally switching over to a USB-C port for its next batch of iPhones. Now this doesn't mean that Apple will be ditching the Lightning port anytime soon. The upgrade to USB-C in this case refers to the wall charger. Japanese blog site Mako Takara published these images reportedly taken by someone in Apple's supply chain. They show an 18 watt fast charger with a USB-C port. And it's not the only one of its kind. A few weeks back, Charger Labs published these renders of a USB-C to Lightning charger with a slightly different design. The best news about these leaks is that they both claim Apple would include this fast charger in the box of its new iPhones, a standard for many flagship Android devices that has yet to make it to the iPhone. Apple gave the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10 fast charging powers, but then failed to include the tools to take advantage of this inside the box. Instead, you had to purchase the fast charge wall adapter and cable separately, adding at least $70 to your already insane bill. Six years after its original launch, Maps still struggles to keep up with Google Maps and Waze and shake off that bad rap it accumulated when it first launched. But that's not stopping Apple. According to TechCrunch, Apple has been busy building its maps from the ground up, deploying thousands of high-tech vans to trace every last corner of the country. The results of this four-year effort will come in iOS 12, starting with Northern California, and then continue to roll out to the rest of the country within a year or so. Map users, all five of you, can expect more details in maps and faster updates for roadway closures and construction features already found in Google Maps, except Apple would prioritize privacy. According to the company, it will still collect data, but anonymously, and it won't link your preferences to your Apple ID outside of your phone. Enough to sway me to dust off the app and give it another shot? I don't know. All right, but seriously, would you give Apple Maps a second chance if it offered better privacy features? Leave your answer on the comment section below and hit that subscribe button to see more Apple Core.